Hi, welcome to this video tutorial of Adroitech Engineering Solutions. In this video, we will be discussing how to create surface finish symbols for your detailed drawings. So this is a sample drawing on which already some surface finish symbols are already placed. Like this one. Also, we have another one. So we will be discussing how to create such and put it into our libraries. One easy method is to just retrieve from existing default symbols. You select the entity, place it after entering the roughness height. So that's so straightforward. But in case we would need additional surface symbols which are custom built based on the company standards, we may have to create based on our requirement. Let us discuss how we do that. So we close the file. I'm going for a new drawing file uh, need not be on some uh, model or anything. It can be any empty template. So that's a blank empty template on which I go to the annotate tab. You can start sketching your symbol. If you're really good at uh, sketching your symbols or sketching any entities. I'm just trying to create the symbol on my own. So that way using our normal uh, line commands, I'm just trying to construct a rectangle which can denote my surface finish symbol. You can also modify the line type to alter your uh, color of the line. So that way I got it but I'm not sure that it's right. So as a better suggested method I go retrieve existing symbols from default library place it on arbitrary point so I'm sure about the geometry at least I'm going for a definition of a new symbol with a name surf fin so now we get into the symbol edit window of Clio parametric now I say copy from the drawing and then select the drawing now I've imported the instance into my symbol environment. I can also do operations like scale. Let me scale it to something like 1.8 based on this vertex. I feel that size must be okay. Now I start placing free nodes. See, it's a free node on a random location I will uh, call that as the roughness value or roughness parameter whatever for a better understanding I put a symbol A like most of the people follow so I get a free note which says roughness within brackets A go for the next one that is going to be my direction of lay or lay direction and here it's very important that you make the make all variable parameters within a pair of backslashes sorry within a pair of backslashes as you see there let me do for one more uh, parameter i'm going to call this method or uh, say uh, treatment or something like a coating without fail with you know, backslash so I'm ready with all required parameters for defining a surface finish symbol now it's time to start placing them and orienting them very very diff very important to uh, make the orientation right so I want this one to be orient this text to be oriented from the right within the text box and I place it there so the lay direction usually comes on the right side of the triangle so to modify it you can just go to right click properties and the textile tab will enable you to make the text orientation 
so this coating or method comes on the top of the lead line and this below the lead line sampling length and the machining allowance yes it comes on the left side of my triangle so I am done with placing the machining allowance text box so this should be a right aligned one yes. so that way I have placed all my text but yes I have missed to place the lead line so I do a simple copy paste I take a geometry reference of this end line which will go snap to the end of the top that way I get the top lead line as well you can always do the extend uh, copy paste kind of general sketching operations once you're done with aligning all your text you can go to the attributes window which will uh, display all the text boxes which we entered these text box uh, not all the text box are listed the text which we had put within a pair of uh, uh, backslashes are listed here as variable text now you can enter all the preset values if any however the user during placement can also enter his own uh, values so for roughness I have these four values then for lay direction I would use some text symbols say a parallel symbol and a perpendicular symbol and then some more symbols for circularity radial and some more we add so I have these preset values for lay direction next one is method of coating I enter some machining operations or methods I repeat again you can anyway add it but in case I say preset values only see what happens let us see what happens I'm going to leave this sampling length without any values. Right. Now it's time to say how are we going to place it. I say it is going to be placed on an entity based on this point. And I say allow the size to be variable based on text. So variable text related. Which text? We are supposed to select the text. Can we check out with other options of attributes available? Say OK. When I say done, it takes me back to the drawing from which I started defining my symbol. Now it's time to save this. Say write and then enter the directory to which you want to save it. Once you say done, note at the bottom, Creo says that it has been saved. It has uh, saved nothing but to my uh, working directory. Now let us see how we place that. Is it retrieve? Browse to my working directory. So this is a surf fin dot symbol. Select the entity. It automatically asks me for all varied entities which we define. Once you enter all values, see for sampling length, it's asking me for the value. Others came with the first value as default. So that's how we have placed the symbol. And you can also edit the symbol. See, we where we had uh, said that it will vary based on the text size. So as I vary the text size, you see the entire symbol scales up and down. To edit it further, just double click. You get the variable text tab. You can enter value. Note that lay direction has got only restricted to those lists. I cannot have a new value other than this list. 
but the others can be manual. That completes the training on how to create surface finish symbols. Hope this video was of use to you. Looking forward to have you again on a different video of Adroit Tech Engineering Solutions. For a detailed training, please contact mcat.support at adroitechinfo.com. Thank you. Have a nice day.